very sad commentary on the security situation of our country. Mr. President, since we're inaugurated here, discussions on the security of our country has taken a large chunk of our uh, discussion here. And I believe and feel that it is time enough for the appropriate authorities to have taken decisive actions to address the security in our country. Mr. President, Kaduna has become the new theater. And Kaduna is where the highest military institutions are housed. Mr. President, I would want to believe that by now it would have been enough time for serious action to have been taken because this bandit from all the attacks seems they are localized in a particular place. And for over two years, this has been happening. So there's no way that you can tell any person that the security would not or have not been able to locate or strategize in order to address the security in Kaduna. Mr. President, when the Taliban in, in Afghanistan wanted to take over the country, they targeted roads, they targeted airports, they targeted rail. Mr. President, it's the same thing that we are witnessing here. Now, the trend that was a bit safe is being attacked now. People will not travel. It affects commerce. It affects transactions. It affects the economy. Mr. President, the roads are equally unsafe. The other day, we heard that around the Kaduna airport, there were attempts by the terrorists to attack the Kaduna airport. Mr. President, we cannot continue like this. And let us call a spade a spade. This is clear failure of leadership. There's no two ways about that. I cannot be sitting as a governor of the state, and things are happening, and other people are being blamed for it. We cannot continue to do that. This is very serious. Our country is under attack. And so we cannot be pretending that there are other people who are responsible. The leadership of the country should address it. We are leaders here. Majority of us here have had very high positions in government in and out. And so, Mr. President, this is high time that we, as a Senate, should seek. We have said this before. If it means that we meet with the leadership of this country, let us sit down and talk so that Nigerians can heave a sigh of relief. Otherwise, we have less than a year for our elections. What will you be telling Nigerians that you want to be re-elected? What will you tell them? Senator Sani, what will Sani go to Kaduna and tell the people that they should elect him because he was unable to protect them? That applied to all of us. And so, Mr. President, I would like to suggest that there is the absolute need and very urgent one for that matter. For there to be an emergency declared by the president on security so that it gives him the power to address the security situation without necessary, referring to some of the bureaucracies that might delay some of the action that he will want to take. Otherwise, the tactics of the Taliban is the same tactics that is being used by these bandits who are operating in Kaduna and other parts of the country, Mr. President. And so, Mr. President, as uh, my senators, uh, colleagues from Kaduna have suggested, we sympathize uh, with the families. We commend the action, the prompt response of the army and the police in this situation, Mr. President. Mr. President, finally, I want to urge all of us, all of us as leaders, to take interest in what is happening within our respective senatorial districts and indeed uh, within our state. Mr. President, I so submit.